Well, uh, let's talk a bit about uh, rendering aspect. Uh, here is my scene. The first time you will launch Arnold, uh, it will made some time. Okay, the first time you launch Maya, Envit, and APR, uh, because uh, Arnold need uh, to load a Bifrost uh, module uh, asset. Okay, the first time. Then after uh, all the next um, APR will be quicker to uh, to launch. Okay, so first things uh, to know. Um, then, of course, um, the as as much. Uh, object asset instance use scatter as much it will take time to Arnold to load them okay that will not take uh, pretty much uh, memory usage but Arnold will take time to launch uh, that can be really long sometime it's uh, for now it's a little problem bugs uh, well know by solid angles they are working on, on it and I'm pretty sure on uh, future uh, MT or a uh, update uh, that will be improved and fixed okay but for now we have uh, some delays because Bifrost and MTRA are pretty um, early uh, on our early version so yes about rendering nothing more I can launch my IPR waiting some seconds and yes it's okay I will just render a region Okay, uh, works great. But what I want now it is, uh, of course, to have some color variation on my grass. Uh, for that, how it works? You go to your assets, and here in Arnold you have a create color variation node. So don't click here. First, you should um, open your hypershed. Uh, why not to get here? Well, select the window, then click here to get your shader. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, without texture, nothing. It's uh, just a color, but uh, that works with the uh, texture, of course. And once you're here, same thing, be sure to well click on your hypershade tabs here, and then you create a color variation node. And uh, Envit will automatically create you the node with the unique name, name um, naming corresponding to your asset and with that you can play um, here verify your type is on object then you can plug so here I will just grab my color save my color uh, then plug here so of course you don't have a viewport feedback for this one and now you have the value here my renderer okay so of course it's full white because I need to set my color as input and I'm back if you have a texture just plug your texture here and it's working the same uh, and you have variation gain hue, saturation so it's quite sensitive so be careful but that works Okay, so just to show you, if I go stronger, you can have funky things. And it's pretty old. So yes, uh, thanks to that, uh, with randomized transform and color vari variation, with only one uh, asset, you so you can start to already have uh, some complex um, scattering effects.